What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode, a Russian army has wandered perilously close to St. Petersburg and we are going to intercept them and cause them to be slaughtered before the walls of St. Petersburg. So let's take them out. We've got a good uh, solid infantry force, a good amount of artillery, lots of cavalry, and we've actually got two units of Swiss pikes. So if they uh, attempt to do if they attempt to uh, charge any breaches. We can meet them with musket fire and we can then slaughter them with pikemen if they get too close. Because even though pikemen are not, might not necessarily be top tier melee infantry, they are still good and there are no breaches in the walls to be afraid of. So let's get everyone out of the way. Deploy units on the main sections of the wall, plus the gates. Then wherever they focus their attacks, begin to uh, shift my men in that direction. Okay, they've only got one set of guns, so we've got a good good amount of coverage. Which I might put one unit. I'll put one unit here. So collectively, we've got two units of line, two units of pikes to pick up wherever they decide to make a breach. A good amount of cavalry. To hold in reserve. Got our howitzers that can do some good work. Let's drop some artillery right at the back and see if I can do some long range sniping. And there we go. See if my my artillery can shoot over the hill, over the uh, the wall. No, apparently not. The howitzers are though. Let's get them to open up on some actual infantry. So they can start making a breach over on the left. So let's take. Deploy them actually back here. So I deploy. Come on. I deploy them here so that if I put men inside these wall, inside this building, if they charge us, these men will be firing into the flanks. Whereas if I deploy them here, these guys will be shooting into the backs of my men, which obviously I don't want. So let's take this unit. Get them over here. See, they started to charge, but there's no one for them to charge. The gates are all closed. To be honest, I might start picking off some of their cavalry. The infantry will fall naturally enough in due course see I don't quite know where you're planning on charging we are going to have to combine these units to assault and destroy the, the uh, garrison guards Bring you guys across. There you go, one unit of militia. Come on, former. There we go, that's what I want to see a big block of troops right there. Can't get my pikes up on the wall. Deploy our heavy cavalry out. A, we might lure their cavalry into the fight, and B, uh, we've got some good cavalry anyway, so I'm not entirely bothered about using it. Grand Air should take them out easily enough. So then my cavalry want to mop up this unit of Cossacks that are running around the flank.
Okay, you guys also gang up on the garrison guards. Lest they get a foothold. These guys try it. Irregulars versus grenadiers. Elite grenadiers at that. So charge the Cossacks. Yeah, they're not they're not gonna last for very long. These men can take position on the wall to begin engaging these men to the rear. Start swapping some of these targets out for round shot. They've ganged up on this regiment of Cossack infantry well enough. Yeah, they weren't going to last very long. Trying to assault grenadiers. Let's push these guys up to here now. To be honest, I might even pull some of my pikes out. Because that's going to lure a lot of their cavalry into the fight. And I want my pikemen to be there for it. Can one of you quick climb a unit of militia? Yes, please. I would like them to try and commit their cavalry to fight mine. Because we would destroy it. I mean, we will destroy it in due course with... Okay, the militia are now moving in, so I'm going to retarget these guys that were previously shooting quick climb at the cavalry. Because I think once I get my pikemen out there, they're really... They're, that, that cavalry is just going to get annihilated. So I think it's a good call. Okay, now the Cossacks are up. God, we're actually getting some good quick climb hits there. But let's let our pike line get into position before we try to push up. Ooh, that's a big hit. I'm going to keep them there though to make sure they, the artillery keeps shooting at that section of the wall and no others. Speed up time a little bit, try to see if we can get these guys to take up positions on the wall. Sadly not. Because the pikemen are more than enough to deal with all these cavalrymen. They have some infantry, but not a lot. They're actually they're dragoons. Just stood out of reach. Ah, okay, get the Grenadiers back to the gate. Just so we don't lose it to the Sundaran militia. Everyone else just go off the wall. Hopefully these guys, that'll allow those guys to take up their positions. And then maybe... Maybe run these guys across to provide a bit of support for these Grenadiers. Lest something go horribly wrong. a line infantry unit so let's deploy one unit of heavy cavalry to 
take them out before they intercept our our line. The militia are now up on the wall. So let's begin slaughtering them. There you go, they've been hit by my A, the men on the walls have engaged. But my heavy cavalry have also made their feelings clear. Here we go, boys. Make sure how it says the shooting at probably the guns. There we go. Their skirmish cavalry just killed a whole bunch of their own guys. But there we go. Heavy cavalry backed up by pikemen. Chase down the Cossacks. Pikes have been left a bit behind, but... Fundamentally, we've got such good cavalry. By the time we catch up, I don't think it will make that much difference. Let's just turn my... Good, my artillery's turned off. Let's make sure... Those guys are fighting the militia as well. There we go. Once the Pokemon get involved, that's, that's when it's game over. Cannot. They can't stick that. Not for very long. I do realise I'm giving my pikes loads of orders. But just because they are the, the killers of my force here. So I'm losing a good amount of heavy cavalry. But I'm also thinking of it as saving men. Saving some of the men that are fighting on the walls. There we go. Cavalry force has been annihilated and they have been pushed back, hopefully for severe loss, but time will tell on that. God, that is severe loss. Back you go. Good, for a minute there, I thought they were going to cross over into Finland. Yeah, the Russians are on the move. Good, Russian rebels, go, go take Moscow because that would be hilarious. More of them, actually. Wait a minute, did they do it? <gasps> they did it! That's really cool. Uh, they never norm I never normally see Russian rebels. I never... <laughs> I don't normally see them successfully rebel. That's... That's really neat. I mean, sadly, it won't prevent us from destroying them. Russia at war. So who are these new Russians? Diplomacy. Russia. It's still, still a war with us, but they are. I didn't. Republican Russia. Hey, that's like the modern Russia, I think. They now have a president. Well, sorry, Republican Russia. I'm not going to let that stand. You're going to run straight past them towards Petrovskaya. Because these are the guys that are going to mop up this rebel force. Or this raiding force. You guys combine. So we've got Republican Russians. That's pretty cool. You are going to demand the surrender of Komi because they have no garrison. Oh, my priest is going to go to here because it can e very easily hop between three regions to convert. Good stuff. We've got good roads. 
You've got your one village. Okay, we're going to knock that down because we can turn that into something a bit more useful. You're going to push up towards Nikfor Koklov. Eh, that's probably going to be an auto. You may take some. You can stay where you are because you're holding that pass pretty effectively. But there's nothing for it. We are going to have to advance. See, minus 13. Down to minus 4. I mean, minus four is definitely... Been, I mean, they will rebel at minus four. We know that. But I think, ultimately, we've got to start clearing out. So I'm a bit reluctant to hit some of these major concentrations. Actually, that's not a bad spot. Gianfranco and Dorno can knock out these three. Actually, let's... Let's assume... If I take you, put Vilnius under siege... I'm just prepping for a few future episodes. So you guys go on the offensive and put Yelgava under siege. So I've got these two under siege, but the part of that relies on me taking Gianfranco Adorno and knocking out these three stacks and pushing them east and then filling the gap with both his army and this army. Plus these in the city. Let's take... Actually, first let's take you over to nearby. And then you take the battle. Oh, sadly, it's not drawing in this guy, but we're taking the battle to some Russians to help clear out eastern Poland. And that way we can start to swing... Well, you know, think of it as Army Group North is being effective, and we're going to swing around and surround the... surround the... Uh, the Russians that are still to the south. And hopefully, through our offensives, offensives in the rear we will end up in a good position to uh, cause them to actually lose troops through attrition. Our gun line's going to sit towards the rear. And artillery's going to go here. And then let's pick up one wing of infantry to go around the left. And let's take another wing of infantry to go down the right. General's going to follow on the right. There we go. It's the new battle against the Re Russian Republic. It's a pretty neat looking flag, really. It will not... Oh, all my... Oh, I forgot a, a set of guns. Okay, just get out of the way. These three units. Yeah, drop into square because they're charging. I like to drop all of them into square because it means that it gives me a bit more flexibility if they decide to not charge. Guys, both charge the sharpshooters. You men take up their position at the head of the column, at the head of the line. You men get out of square, provide a gun line to fire into the 21st regiment. Start to try and knock out some of their militia units and some of their other smaller units. You men need to pivot. The Russian Regiment of Horse is not going to last. These are light cavalry, so I don't expect them to do very well in the combat here either. Fall back, actually. General, take care of the shotgunners. Could unleash a devastating volley into my general if I'm not careful. You men push up. There we go. We managed to hit them. They are light infantry. Oh, quick line. Pick new targets. Riflemen. There we go. 
their flank is folding. Get my general away. Leg of the light cavalry sharpshooters, let's get those guys in quick. Gunners are a long way away to help. So the first target is going to be the knocking out the 38th regiment. There we go. I mean, if the general is going to walk that close to us. Suicide General. Yeah, let him charge. Yeah, there we go. The entire flank is folded. Just keep pushing up the troops because right now we've got to go fade to be honest I might just run these guys up I mean doing a lot of running in this battle but it's because they are just pretty much sitting everywhere well I can't there's some junk hiding in the uh, trees there we go Of the map, there isn't it? It is. Switch all my artillery to round shots. Squeeze a bit more range against the hand mortar company. The left wing's probably going to be a bit more offensive to try and knock out. Hmm. You guys focus on the 10th Grenadier Regiment because they're scary. Hand mortars are not fun. So much so, you're going to have to charge to tie them up to prevent them from firing. So my artillery is going to stop and limber up. Bohemian Grenzers on the flank. So this is another hand mortar company. Got too close to my lines and was pushed back. There go one of the enemy units. You guys can now take up your normal position at the line and get ready to engage. The rocket troop have abandoned their rockets. My infantry here are now just preparing to... We're just mowing down... They're aiming at the militia, but it's the sharpshooters that are getting the brunt of it. You guys hit the Bohemian Grenzers. Just run some men up to threaten the enemy to the rear. Everyone else is going to fall, especially these riflemen. You men are in a terrible position. See, they're not actually being engaged yet by anyone. Aim in about ten, because there's a unit of line infantry coming this way. Square. These marines support the attack there. You guys push up. I mean, that's the militia that's charged you on the on the left. So that's not a problem. Yeah, we're slowly getting people in there. The regiment of militia is going to be 
a bit tough to take down with one unit, so maybe that might not have been a great call. The 8th Grenadier Regiment are being cut down. There we go. Let's get more men up. They're going to get a bayonet charged, aren't they? Well, the militia only have axes. So I'm going to charge as well. Like a lot of men that can go into the fight. Let's <laughs> get you a bit around the left flank. So the Marine's going to go straight down the centre to provide a bit of muscle. You guys are going to charge the, f uh, the flank a bit. You men line up and begin engaging whomever you like. Get some guys around the flank. There we go. It says they're winning, but I suspect, well, if nothing else, they will not be able to put up with the amount of losses that they will be receiving. Don't worry about the infantry. Actually, you might just charge the guns. You guys might just focus on the general. There we go. Now they're upset because they're being attacked in the rear. So there's a few pockets of men that are actually being attacked on multiple fronts. And this regiment here, I'm just going to load and fire and engage the general's bodyguard. Generally, that's the plan anyway. Look how confident they are. Just keep feeding men into the meat grinder part of the reason why I've got so many troops in the central region. So that I can engage the Russians in a bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat like so. So let's charge this Russian infantry unit in the rear. That will cause them to be very upset and potentially to then break and flee. Sorry Russians, you finally got your republic. Throw more men into the meat grinder. All make sure the guard mode off. There we go. Eh, you guys run up here. There we go. The militia put up a brave fight at the end, but however it was all for nothing. Let's just speed up time because the general's not going to be alive for very long. Well, not on the field anyway. Hurrah! That is a nice, nice little victory. I mean, it was much bloodier than, than it could have been. Oh, actually, that's pretty good there. So if I take you guys... Auto resolve this final little fight. Push them away. It gives me somewhere where I can take a, a garrison like this, bottle up those troops in the fort. They're happy with me, mostly. Let's move some infantry reserves up because they are still happy with me. You guys can get to Memel and replenish. 
it's probably way past time to go hit Yegveni to Sarapkin. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for when we're finally going to fight this Russian army that's been running around Sweden. Cheers everyone.